Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family Channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Uh, a little bit later than normal, but again, a beautiful walk here on the beach in Phuket, Thailand. While I'm witnessing a beautiful yard over there, maybe a yard that we will buy at the end of the bull market. Let's see. But uh, today, again, amazing charts, a beautiful trading tip, some very handy travel tip. Yes, also talking about the news and, of course, giving you some life advice. So enjoy the complete video. I'm not going to walk too far because my back my legs everything is hurting because i sported two times yesterday oh my god i'm getting too old for that shit now let's quickly jump into the charts to show you what is happening to bitcoin today let's start with a four hour chart guys this beautiful four hour chart is showing you again with the bitcoin family indicator setup that a buy signal was there a beautiful candle close above the yellow stepping line and of course a beautiful trade all the way up to the top of that Bollinger Band. We even reached the top of that resistance level there around $38,500. Are we gonna break this level? I still believe we will be able to break the 40K level uh, in December. But what will happen after that we reach that 30K level? That is of course a huge surprise. But if we're gonna look at the next couple of charts, we might understand exactly what kind of move is going to be playing out for Bitcoin between now and the end of December, guys. Now let's jump into those charts. But before I jump into charts, guys, of course showing you that yes, the signals group in the Bitcoin family, which you can access for free, just go to the bitcoinfamily.com and find in the products menu, TBF signals, uh, we are making a beautiful profits every month. Last month, we had something around 15% profit. Now, in the last couple of trades, we did pretty well as well. We had 12.3% profit, 5, 7% uh, profit. Also, of course, sometimes we make some losses, guys. So at the moment, November, we are, I think, around 10% profit for the whole month. Last month, 15%. But if you look at this beautiful table over here, you will see that in average, we are making almost 250% profit per year. So if you want to sign up to the Bitcoin Family Signal, group then just go down below this video you will find the link down below tbf signal group and if you click that one you will see all the information what you need to do to get free access to that group guys now next chart this chart is showing you very beautiful but yes if you look at the four years of the cycle the fourth year is always the bearish year then the first year is like the recovery year that we go sideways a little bit that we have of course uh, that we are leaving the bear market bottom then the second year that will be the bitcoin will be growing way harder than the alts then the third year the alts will start to surpass bitcoin and the fourth year again will be the bear market so this is how the market has been moving in the last couple of cycles so we are almost going to enter the second year of the cycle that's 2024 in which the halving will take place so bitcoin will be outperforming the alt so bitcoin will be bigger and growing really fast now after that year 2025 will arrive that will be probably when the bull market top will be in somewhere September 2025. But from January 2025 all the way up till maybe September 2025, the alts could be outperforming Bitcoin massively. So if you want to play this game very profitable, you first start to invest in Bitcoin and then maybe around the top you start to exchange some Bitcoins into alts because then the alts could be starting to outperform Bitcoin. Then get out again in 2026 7 because that will be the bear market and you just buy back at the bottom there's a lot of wind sorry for the noise guys uh, then we have this chart this chart is also showing you that we are not even close to the full start of the bull market guys we can see the bitcoin price the orange line yes we are climbing up slowly and we can see the blue line and the blue line is showing us how often bitcoin is searched on google for example and we are not searching Bitcoin that much. Look to the blue line at the end of the bull market in 2021. That was when most often was searched for Bitcoin in all these search engines, guys. And now we are very low. There's not much retail interest yet in Bitcoin. And the price is already doubled since the bear market bottom. So just imagine when the retail again starts to search for Bitcoin on Google, etc., and sees all the positive news of Bitcoin outperforming all the assets worldwide, eh, then yes, again, that retail will start to invest again. Even those that gave up because they made some loss in the previous bull market will invest again and hope to make profit. But the thing is, they should be investing now before that peak will arrive in that blue line. 
Then we have this chart, guys. A very interesting chart. And yes, pause the video to analyze this chart a little bit more. But the thing that you need to see is the orange line is the Bitcoin price. Then we have that white line. Now that white line is showing you that every time when we touch that orange dotted horizontal line where you see these red crosses, that's the early bull market. That's what we are experiencing now, the early bull market, the early bull run. But when we touch that orange dotted line, often there is a pullback. Look to the first time in 2016, pullback. Look to the second time there in 2019. When that red cross was there, we had an early bull market that was from 3k to 14k. Bam, we had a pullback. Of course, there was a big pullback because of the COVID crash. And now again, we touched that green line on the bottom. We are now entering those double orange horizontal lines. Will we again have this pullback? This is, of course, always possible in Bitcoin. Also, if you look to the bottom part of the chart, you can see the halvings. And then we can see after halvings, we have only gone up, 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 and then we get the bear mark. Now we are nearing at halving. Will we see a small pullback before this halving? Yes or no, that is the question. Because there was also a time, if you look now back to 2013-14, that we didn't go down. We just kept moving up. And also in 2016-17, guys, yes, there was a correction, but it was a 30% correction. So will this again be a 30% correction? I believe we will first move above 40K. 12% of 40K will be 12K. Then we could fall back to um, 32K, maybe 33K. Let's see. Very interesting chart. Pause the video if you want to analyze this one a little bit more. And also this chart, guys, is showing us exactly the same. We can see here the different cycles, 2013, 17, and now the 2021 cycle. And we can see that the bear market bottom has always been in that same period. From there, we get a relief rally pump, which we experience now as well. Then we get a cooling off, a small correction, that's the light blue. And then we get the pre-halving FOMO, bull market is back, that we are experiencing now. Check that red line, we are going up in the purple phase. Now, if you now look to the top, that blue line in December, bam, crashed, but that was the COVID crash. That gray line, the 2013 bull market, didn't crash too much. It did crash a little bit, but then bam, we started pumping again. So what is that red line now going to do in December? Is this going to be the December surprise? I think that we will be going up all the way up till the end of December, somewhere around 20 December. And from that moment, I believe we can see this small correction. I believe a 30% correction to above 30,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. I don't believe in 20,000 US dollar per Bitcoin or another COVID crash. I do believe we will see like a 20 to 30% correction, which of course will, will shake out again some weekends. But after that, guys, you will see a massive bull run that you need to be in. After that red huge square, you see what the price has been doing every time. And that's around May 2024. We went up massively. So just understand that this will be happening in my honest opinion again. We can see a small correction, but the bigger play is that we will go up massively. So put your buy orders ready, all between these levels of 28, 29, 30, 31, 32K. And if you fall to these levels, that you will be automatically buying it. Beautiful chart. Pause the video to analyze it a little bit more. And that was also the last chart for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed those charts, guys. The zoomed out versions telling you again and again and again, we are still in the first section of the bull market. Before we go into the second half of the bull market, you should be buying Bitcoin, guys. It's simple as that. I will keep repeating it. I will keep repeating it. Also for all the newcomers to this channel, we are all about accumulating Bitcoin as much as possible before the halving in April 2024 because from that halving we will again see an explosive bull market all the way up above 70k that's like almost doubling or tripling your capital from these levels guys. Now let's jump into the trading tip. The trading tip for today, guys, is about candlestick patterns. And we are going to continue the three candlestick patterns again today. There is a lot of different patterns. There's bullish patterns and there is bearish patterns, guys. So if you look at this image over here now, you can see that there is multiple bearish patterns. If you see these patterns playing out on the chart, then please be aware that it's going to be a bearish move. You're going to go down. If you see the bullish 
patterns playing out on the chart, then please be aware that we are going to go up. It's very simple. Those morning stars, those evening stars, those three white soldiers, those, those three black crows, all of these charts are the opposite of each other. So please memorize all of these beautiful patterns so that you understand exactly what is happening on the charts. It's very simple. Just take a screenshot, memorize them, and every time when you see these on the chart, then do understand which direction the chart is going to move. And of course, accordingly, put all your buy orders or sell orders into place, guys. Now, let's jump into the next part, the travel tip. The travel tip for today, guys, is a very simple one. Sometimes during your travels, you just need to put down your telephone and enjoy the moment. Do you know those beautiful moments that you're visiting a temple or that you're visiting a beautiful beach or that you're visiting any other amazing place and you're only focused on making pictures and videos and all that stuff? That means you're not completely enjoying the moment. Put that telephone down for 15 minutes and really walk through these ruins. Really enjoy the vibe, really enjoy all the energies that you can feel on these beautiful special places. Like for example, we went all the way to Cambodia to visit the Angkor Wat and we loved that. That was one of the nine world wonders. So we needed to see the Angkor Wat. But when we were walking there, we got so amazed by all the structures that we, yes, were making a lot of pictures. So we went back a second day without the telephone to really enjoy the Angkor Wat, to really see the structures, to really feel the vibe of the Angkor Wat because it was a one-of-a-kind experience. And we didn't only want to experience it through the lens of a camera, so we need to go back to experience through our own eyes. So, the travel tip for today is sometimes put your camera away and really enjoy the moment. Let's jump into the next part. The news for today, guys. Amazon is launching Q, like from James Bond, Q, I think. They took the name from that, but Q is the competitor of ChatGPT. But Q is more focused on businesses, so like HR and all of administrative stuff that is happening inside the company. That is where Q is going to help these businesses uh, in a way that ChatGPT is helping us now as retail people. So Q is another step forward in artificial intelligence. And in exactly that industry, artificial intelligence is going to be a huge industry. So I'm also doing my research, which artificial intelligence projects are there in crypto. Now, a couple of days ago, I ran into this really cool project that is probably going to replace me in the future. So I'm like, wow, I need to dig deeper in this one because this could become bigger than what I'm doing at the moment as a physical person every day, beautifully walking on the beach. There is a new project, it's called FAME, F-A-M-E, Ethereum token. And if you become part of that project, you own a part of the company that is producing AI influencers. Yes, you heard me correctly, AI influencers. What is an AI influencer? That it's like a fake influencer that really doesn't exist, which is an AI model, a very beautiful woman or a very beautiful man, that even grows a social media fan base, that even has followers on Instagram, that even has followers on TikTok, that even has followers on X, and those models are now being used, for example, in commercials of IKEA. Even IKEA is now using these AI models. So these AI models slash influencers are going to take over this huge business, in my honest opinion, in the future. So yes, if I want to make some bucks now, because my job will be gone probably in 10 years time, I need to invest now in these AI influencers. So I started to invest in this company. This company is called Fame. I will put the link down below because they already have like four or five AI influencers. I think they want to achieve 30 AI influencers by the end of the next year. And these AI influencers, they are already working. They're already performing. They're doing AMAs. They're performing in commercials and everything. So of all the revenue that these AI influencers will be making in the future, I will be getting a cut because I'm investing in that company. So if you want to investigate how do in future world of influencers, models, movie stars will look like? Then please take a look at this project fame because I believe it's really gonna fuck up your mindset when it comes to the future of influencers, models, and maybe even movie stars, guys. It's really strange what they are building, 
maybe it sounds even too futuristic to you, just like it sounded too futuristic to me that we would be using Instagram or Snapchat to send each other messages and share our whole lives online. That sounded really futuristic to me as well. When it all was starting in the beginning, like with Facebook and Hives and all that stuff. But this AI models replacing human beings when it comes to being an influencer, a model, a movie star, or anything else that you can just imagine. Because the use of these influencers is of course a shitload cheaper for companies than hiring all those expensive models. And if these AI influencers will grow a bigger fan base than the normal physical people, let's, let's say for example, uh, those AI influencers become bigger than uh, Beyonce or Messi, then those AI influencers will get a value. And if you invest now in these companies that are creating these AI influencers, models or movie stars, then you will be sharing in that profit of that company as well. So that's why I'm always looking ahead and looking into the future, what is happening. And of course, this news was a little bit of a shock for me as well. My job is gonna be disappearing. I will be replaced by a very handsome guy walking the beach, talking about Bitcoin and blockchain and life, which is not real, but he's an AI influencer and he logs, walks without a t-shirt because he has a six pack and he talks way better because he is perfectly speaking English because it's all typed in by an English speaking person and this guy looks really cool, never makes any mistake, is flawless. Yes, my job is gone. Oh shit, what the fuck should I do? Okay, leave a comment down below if you really think that I'm gonna lose my job to an AI influencer or do you really think this is like too early, this is like way too futuristic? And please take a look at that fame project, then let me know down below what you think of this. IKEA, which is one of the biggest companies in the world, is already using AI model commercials. I think it's going to change the complete media marketing world, guys. Let me know, let me know down below. But that was the news for today. AI is taking over. Then we come to the question for today, guys. The question was what for one of the followers. The question was, Didi, if I'm only able to start buying Bitcoin in five months, so we're talking about April 2024, at that moment, should I go all in directly in April 2024, or should I dollar cost average from the month April 2024? At least April, April is five months from now, I think. But my honest opinion, I can't predict the future. I don't have a glass ball. I can't tell you uh, what the perfect scenario is. But what I would do at that moment, I would look at the charts because April 2024 is the halving. And it, has, and it has almost never happened that after the halving, we went down. We went only up from the moment of the halving. So if you ask me, looking at the history of the charts in Bitcoin, then yes, again, somebody surprising me from the back. <laughs> That's so shitty if you have the camera like this. Then yes, I would always go all in at the moment. But at that moment, you take a look at the charts. Are we topping out? What are the indicators telling you? What is the RSI telling you? What is all the industry telling you? What is the news? How is the vibe in the industry? And from that moment you decide. You can't decide this already now. But if I'm thinking logically, and I only look at TA and at nothing else, then yes, normally from the halving, we have only gone up for the next 12 to 16 months. So for me, if I would need it to decide today, I need to push the bottom today, then my bet would be on going all in in April 2024 instead of dollar cost averaging from April 2024. Because I believe the dip that we're gonna see will be maybe in December, January, and then slowly go up again to 40 to 50K in April. And that would be a beautiful price still to double your capital in a one and a half year, I think. So now that was my answer to your question. The next part of the video, guys, of course, is the live advice. And that one is very simple and powerful. Live is very simple, but we insist and making it complicated. So it's always us that are making life complicated. Well, life essentially is very simple. It's not difficult to live a normal life. It, it's not like a puzzle that you need to solve. Life is just something that you need to live. You just need to embrace life like it comes. Every day, just go with the flow, come with the waves and go with the waves. It's very simple. But we always insist to try to make it complicated. And I think that's the stupidest things that you can do. 
sorry guys, a short disruption because I met some people um, that recognize me from the YouTube and that just want to have a chat. So I always have a chat, of course, and of course invited them to go to the party on Friday that we are having in the Maya Tulum party. So we will be there. If you want to come and celebrate with me, come to Maya Friday, guys. I was talking about the live advice for today and the live advice, I will start over again. Life is simple, but we insist in making it complicated. If you just treat life as it comes, just accept every day as it is, life is not that complicated but you insist in making it always complicated you want to make it more difficult i don't know why maybe it's like the normal thing that we human beings want to do or achieve is having a complicated life but life itself is not that complicated the only thing you need to do is just wake up you breathe and that's life <laughs> and try to be happy with all the things that come onto your path don't stress too much don't see everything as something negative. See everything as a new possibility, opportunity. Embrace all those things. Embrace your own mistakes. If you do something wrong, next time try to do it better. Don't see it as something that will end your life because that's the only thing that you know in this life that life will end somewhere in the far future. But we never know when this life might be ending. So all that time that you will be alive, Please enjoy that life to the fullest. Live the life that you want to live. Embrace everything that comes onto your path. If it's negative or positive, just embrace it. Just suck it up and just continue to live that life that you want to live again. Most of the problems that occur in your life are small little problems. But you insist on making them bigger and bigger and bigger in your head. Analyze the problem for yourself. Sit on the beach. Think really about that problem that you have. And is it really that big problem? Or are you making it bigger? In Holland, we have this saying, we say, you make an elephant out of a mosquito. Which means it's just a little problem, but you're making a huge problem out of it because you insist to complicate life. And life should be just simple. Simple as that. Now, that was a very short life advice, but I don't have too much time today. My, my arms, legs, everything really hurts, so I will keep it to this. Life is very simple. Please don't make it too complicated for yourself. And if you have issues with that, yes, and come join me here on Phuket. Walk and talk with me on the beach. And yes, you will get very zen and relaxed. Guys, that was everything. Hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, give the video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Leave a comment. What do you think about the videos? What do you think about the charts? What do you think about everything else? Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow again. Hopefully then I will feel a little bit more fit. And maybe then again, beach, booty and Bitcoin. The booty was in the beginning now. I have a booty upcoming here. If I wait now with filming, you will get the most beautiful booty I have ever seen, guys. Wait, give me a couple of seconds. Keep watching, keep watching. You have never seen this before. Hopefully my wife, hopefully my wife will not get mad on me. Because yeah, sorry, sorry babe, sorry babe. I'm gonna show them a very attractive booty. And yes, it's a very attractive booty. And um, sorry for that, my wifey. But guys, here it comes. I don't think you've ever seen such a beautiful booty before. Man, there it is. Bam. Did you ever see such a beautiful booty? That was really the end of the video. Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Peach and Booty, guys. Thanks for watching. And hopefully, see you tomorrow again. Bam.